Barnett Ox 5 blind. It's coming up. What's going on? My name is Steve Taylor with STO Wildlife Calls. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here and want to learn more about do-it-yourself hunting projects and crossbow hunting, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell and you won't miss anything. We're going to show you the Barnett Ox 5 blind. It's a five-sided hub style blind. We have our ropes, tie down ropes here. They have two what they call peak windows. They're over on this side. Well, first of all, here was from the outside on these peak windows. They just zip around. Gives you a window. You could shoot out on them if you want. From inside, you can just zip that down some and look behind you, or this one over here on the side to the side. And here in the door. Zippers like that. But I do have a center support because I have it out here, get snow, heavy rains or something like that, keeps your uh, roof from collapsing. That's one thing the uh, information that they give you doesn't tell you. The other thing they show you in the information how to pop the hubs out, uh, push them together to knock it down. They just forgot to tell you, because I think it's the same information for all their hub lines. But on this Ox 5 blind, the windows are different than the rest of them. And they don't give you that information. I guess it's something they feel you ought to know or figure out pretty simple. They're silent windows. The window starts here and covers one panel, two panels, three panels out of the five panels. So it's covering three fifths of the blind. This is the flap. It comes down over so that when everything's closed up and it rains or snows, the water stays on the outside and doesn't run on the inside. This is what they call their oxide material. These are your brush-in straps. And as you will see later in the video, they need to sew these on to this camo material before they put the black inside material on. Because right now you'll be able to see every place they stitch this on, there's needle holes. So this needs to be waterproofed across that seam, inside, out, whatever, to keep moisture out. But so far, I really like this one compared to the Big Cat where it uh, was a lot of pinholes in the material. And uh, when you were sitting inside in daylight, it looked like uh, when you go out at night, 
out in the country and look up at the stars, you see all the stars and so forth, that's how it looked inside that big cap blind. Not so with this, with the Ox 5 blind. It doesn't have that problem. Okay, here's my center pole. That's the uh, bottom. It's a one inch steel pole and it has a whatever size fits inside of one inch steel. Can go on up. And here's the top part that sits or fits on the hub. And the thing of it is is to remove this for me to take this out little push button and then I come down loosen this and then there's a push button down here this collapses I lay it down inside my blind when I go to leave I just reverse everything. In fact, there's a button up here too. So, this cap stays put and I just put it back in at the end of the day when I'm done hunting. There's a couple needle, these are needle holes where they sewed outside a uh, piece of uh, narrow web webbing material around at the top and you have it at the bottom also so that you can put pieces of brush in to if you want to hide your blind a little better or brush it in what I think they need to do is being that this is a camo material on the outside and this black put her black out of the uh, blind on the inside is a separate material that they need to change how they put that piece of strapping on this is a five-sided hub style blind it has zipperless windows they're slide on a strap to open and close them and actually you can open it and it could give you from this side here clear around to back here so I like the roominess of this blind I mean I have my crossbow on my Codwell field pod have a heater in the blind have my camera tripod set up in here. Have my pack to my left here that brought all my stuff in. I just stepped up to their what I think is their probably top of their line in a blind, and uh, they probably can make some uh, improvements on this. Like I said, with how they're doing their uh, that strapping on the outside. how they should attach that before they uh, sew the black onto the cam the back of the camo material since it's two pieces of material I like how it's made and I like how the windows adjust it's quiet and also has a camo screening air that you could see so uh, anybody looking for a blind and wants something uh, that you can hunt with a buddy, your son, a mentor, 
This is a good blind to do that. So if you want to learn more on DIY hunting projects and crossbow hunting, start now by hitting the round icon subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.